All right, here we go. We're going to be uh, getting this thing going today. And the first thing we need is this sketch right here. And it's going to be on the front plane, and it's a 10 by 4. And then we've got another box on the inside of it. And that's one inch from the edge on all of the edges. So let's get that going. We've got the sketch tool, and I'm drawing on the front. I'm pushing S, and then going to my center point rectangle. And dragging that out and it was a 10 inner by 4 inner. now I am going to drag these dimensions to the outside clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to grab my uh, rectangle tool and drag out this way and then I'm grab my dimension tool I could click up here or push the D which I like to do and then click the blue line black line we need one blue line black line one and then same thing one more time and notice those blue lines can move so now they can't all right we got our sketch done I'm gonna go ahead and finish that I'm gonna push s to get my extrude tool and we're gonna to extrude this it needs to be symmetrical and we need to do six inches and we are good to go on that all right, we're going to learn a new thing right now. So I'm going to draw a sketch on this edge out here. Okay, I want to know where this edge is, and I want a reference to it, uh, just so I can have an idea of where the middle is. How tall is it from here to here? So I'm going to do something over here next to my view cube and click Shaded with Hidden Edges. You can see all those hidden edges come in, and they are selectable now. And so as I'm drawing this sketch, I'm going to push D for dimension tool and dimension from there to there. From that line to that line. Oh, I got to, I got to project it first. So I push U to project it. Now I can put a dimension on it from here to here. And 3 is what it is. So take a look. It is grayed out. Okay, that means it's just a reference dimension. It's not a driven dimension that actually defines what this thing is about and how big it is. It's just placing it as a reference so we know how big it is. So that gives me an idea where to put this hole. And so, yeah, I'm going to go 1.5 and then a diameter of 0.75. So, and it's centered. So i got to make sure that when I'm placing it, first place, I don't want to place it over here. Okay, we want it centered. So C for circle. And then I'm going to place it centered. I'm going to drag it out. We're going to go uh, 3 fourths, 0.75 for that. And then D for dimension from the center point to the top. And we're going to place it out here. And this was 1.5 to get it centered. So it was half of that dimension right there. I'm going to click the checkbox. I'm going to rotate a little bit. And then I don't really need that anymore. So I'm going to turn it off and shade it. Uh, extrude this little circle. We're actually removing material this time. I always like to define these. You could, this wood is okay right there. It is one, but I'm going to go up to next on this one and then click on that face right there. Uh, that way uh, it's not going to go all the way through. If I said up to next, uh, up to next is just going to go up to there. We could try like up to face and do all the way up to that one. Uh, I got the wrong extrude on there. Extrude. Oh, I clicked. I clicked too many things. Let's let's try that again. We're gonna extrude that, and then it says up to what face. If we said up to that one, it cut through both. But let's just do up to this face, and now it cut only part way through. And we are solid. We cut that hole out. We got it looking like this one right here. All the dimensions are set. Good work. 